Well, uh, here we be. <laughs> This is my wife, Chrissy. Hi. <laughs> so, did you watch the videos? No. No, you, you said you had. Well, I felt a little bad, so <laughs> I, I just said that I did, but I, I didn't. <laughs> okay, well, what do you know about the multiverse? Multiverse, that's that infinite possibilities thing where you could be anything. Wait, could there be a world where we are cartoons, right? Could that be a thing? Yeah. That. That right there. I'd watch it if it had that. Well, last time, I was the president. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> a lot of people think I'm pretty famous. <laughs> Meet Greg Sellers, an ordinary, average, boring man. Christine was a firm believer in ghosts, but Greg would never join on her endeavors. Believe me, it was not for lack of trying. Oh, I, I just, I don't like it. You're, you're stuck in a house talking to yourself all night. What's wrong with talking to yourself? Why are you looking at me like that? Do none of you talk to yourself? Am I, am I alone in this? Can we cut that out? In this reality, Greg joined one of Christine's ghost adventures and found undeniable evidence that ghosts exist. No, 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 don't tell her. All this time. All this time. time. If only you'd come on one of my little adventures, then we would have found undeniable proof that ghosts were real. Well, we discovered aliens exist in the last one, so I could have made a lot of better choices. What? Aliens? Mm -hmm. Why didn't you tell me? I, it's government secret. <laughs> Due to his experience with scripting and filmmaking, he rented a camera and put together a low-budget TV show to prove the existence of ghosts. It then aired on a local station in 1989. Do we really know what goes bump in the night? For years, this question has been asked. And today, we're going to find out with undeniable proof that there is an afterlife. Join us on our show, Ghost, Ghost Explorers! The show was an overnight success, despite many critics appearing in the newspapers. So Greg began hosting events for everyone to see for themselves. It was at this point Christine and him became known as the first individuals to undeniably prove there was an afterlife. Undeniable. You hear that, Greg? I, Undeniable! I heard. No. <laughs> I was there. <laughs> I'm glad you were. The first season of their ghost hunting show premiered in 1991, met with record breaking viewing figures across the world. Ghosts, if you're out there, give us a sign. Echo. Did you hear that? I think it said hello. Unfortunately, it wasn't long before people figured out how Greg was summoning these spirits. And by the mid-90s, there were well over a hundred different TV shows saturating the market with ghosts. Dramas, talk shows, anything you could think of, it had a ghost in it now. Greg's ghost hunting show is eventually cancelled as the idea of ghosts is just no longer surprising. Typical. How do you even get sick of ghosts? Right? 
It wasn't until the early 2000s where a scientific paper was written suggesting these creatures may not have actually been ghosts, but in fact, humans from other realities. Seeping into theirs, warning everyone that the multiverse may be collapsing in on itself. Oh, oh, I think that I heard about this. It's actually a popular theory that instead of it being dead people who are passing into our world, it's different realities passing through ours. Whoa, I, I've never heard of that. That's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the multiverse, though. I didn't hear about that falling apart. Hey, thanks for liking and subscribing to the channel. If you'd like to see me in more realities, drop into the comments below and leave us some ideas.